Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm Anoush from AndroidRoots.com. Today I'm going to show you how to completely unroot the LG G3 to complete stock, um, remove any sign of root, any custom RAM, any custom recovery. And also this guide will work if you're on a soft brick phone, if you're stuck on a boot loop, if your phone won't completely boot up, whatever. This will restore your phone back to 1% stock factory settings just like you day you bought it and it'll also be safe enough for you to send it back to the carrier or manufacturer without them ever knowing you ever modified it or did anything ba bad to your phone even though rooting isn't bad for your phone um, and this will work for every single variant and all the files everything I mentioned will be linked down below in the description for you to get all the files for the LG G3. So let's go ahead and get started right away. Um, and this will delete all user information from your phone, uh, pictures, movies, music, back it up as it will all be deleted from your internal memory. Um, so let's go ahead and start it up. So go ahead and hold down the power button and select power off. And we're gonna go ahead and enter into download mode in just a few seconds. Um, so while it is powering off, go ahead and grab your USB 2.0 cable. Use the LG one. Yesterday I tried this whole unrooting process. I spent five hours troubleshooting why, like, why, why I kept failing. It was because I was using a Samsung cable. Use the LG cable that came with your phone. Um, this is an LG from the Nexus 5, it works fine. Use an LG cable from the LG G3 um, or you're gonna run into errors, use it. <laughs> Please, I spent five hours trying to fix why it kept failing. Okay, so while it is, once it is powered off, get your cable. Make sure the USB end is already plugged into a USB 2.0 port on your computer. And on this end, go ahead and hold the volume up, press and hold the volume up, and plug in your USB 2.0 cable. I'll make your USB right there, just like that, and keep holding on to the volume up. You'll see download mode, and in just a quick sec, you'll see Right there, firmware update. So it'll say do not unplug the USB connection until the process is complete. So we're good on this end. Um, if this didn't happen, try it again. Make sure you hold the volume up only and plug it in while the phone is powered off. Now let's go ahead and head to our Windows computer and finish this up. Okay, so now on your Windows computer, go ahead and open up Device Manager and make sure your phone is still plugged in, uh, still shows firmware updates screen on there. Um, open up Device Manager just by searching and it'll start, uh, start thing right there in the bottom left hand corner if you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8 go to the Windows Metro UI whatever that's called um, search thing um, I'm using Windows 8 but I have a little modification um, so right here um, go ahead and scroll down until you see right here uh, until you see ports uh, parentheses com and LPT parentheses again um, if you don't see this or if you open up the tab and don't see this um, it should show exactly as this just about um, if you don't see that, go ahead and install the LG USB drivers. Um, mine is right here. Like I said, I'll link all the files that you need down below. So go ahead and pick this up using the uh, download link down below. Um, here's the USB drivers. Just install it, reboot your computer, and it should show up. Um, so go ahead and open up the um, underlink tab right here. So it should say LGE mobile USB serial port com whatever. Go ahead and double click on that. Click on port settings advanced and under here go ahead next to com port number choose com 41 now by default it'll say like com 8 or something choose com 41 just like me so com 41 just like that click on ok and click on ok again and we're good you can go ahead and close that device manager and we're going to go ahead and install the lg flash tool so here's the zip file like i said earlier all the files that you need will be linked down below so right click on it click on extract all Click on extract and give it a few seconds. Okay, so here, go ahead and open up setup, uh, setup LG flash tool folder, double click on it, and install setup LG flash tool blah 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 dot exe. Right there, click on yes. Next, install, and right here, uncheck mark run. Um, uncheck mark that since we don't want to run it just yet, and then click on finish. And as you can see in the same folder, we also have a file uh, named megalock.dll. Go ahead and right click on that, click on copy, and go ahead and go to your Windows C drive. So here's my Windows C drive. It's going to be C drive for Windows. Let's click on Windows, go to LG, LG Flash Tool, right click anywhere where it's open and click on paste. And then it should go and show up. Here we go. So it'll ask you to replace it. We're going to replace it. So now as you can see, by the time 12.38, 7.30, um, 
yeah, 73024 for the date. Um, it replaced it with a new Megalac DLL, so it's a new one. It won't work without the replaced one. Um, you're going to get uh, user restricted errors. Okay, so we're going to that. Now you can go ahead and open up the LG Flash tool. Um, it'll show up on your desktop automatically, the icon. Go ahead and double click on that. Click on yes. Okay, so this is what it'll look like by default once you do open it up. Um, it'll be blank. Go ahead and click on select manual mode. And you're going to be downloading two files for your stock um, recovery or a stock firmware. Um, you're going to be downloading a .dll file and a .tot. Now the .tot file will come zipped, so you have to unzip it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click on the three dots, as you can see right there, where my mouse is. And go ahead and locate the .dll, not the one with the LG Setup Flash tool. It's a separate file. Um, I'll show you it so you know what I'm saying, but it'll be all linked to down below, properly labeled and all that. If you're confused, um, you don't have to worry about that. It's properly labeled. Um, it's, you know, stupid proof. Um, I try to do that um, just so there's less confusion. Um, and I'm using a T-Mobile one, so here's mine. Um, and as you can see, by automatically, it shows .dll, just like that. Um, as you can see, you have AT&T, Korean, all that. Um, like I said, it'll be all, all these will be linked to down below. Um, once Canadian ones do become available, I'll link that down below as well. So here's that .dll. Make sure it's the same model number as yours. Um, just make sure you're downloading the correct one. And we'll go ahead and double click on that. And now SW is a .tot. Like I said, you have to unzip it first. So I'll show you that too. So we'll open up my file explorer. And we'll go back to the same place. We'll go to storage, files, I believe. Um, LG G3, stock files, uh, T-Mobile. Um, so here's my zip file. Um, it says compress zip. We're going to right click on it and click on extract all and extract it first. And I'll show you that it does uh, show up as TOT. Okay, so once it's extracted, here's the extracted folder. Um, as you can see, it's a .tot um, right here. So here's my model number. Yours will be a little bit different, but make sure you unzip it into a TOT file. Um, and we're good to go now. Uh, so I can close that out, close that out. And now we'll click on add under SW right here. And we'll go ahead. And as you can see, stock files, here's my team of D851. Yours could be a different model number depending on what LG G3 variant you have. And here we go. Here's a type TOT, not zip, TOT. Click on that. And that's all. Don't mess with anything down here. And now go ahead and click on OK right there. And we're going to go ahead and click on the yellow arrow right there. And we're almost done. Um, just a few more minutes and we're good to go. Okay, so right now it's checking everything, making sure everything's good. Um, so be patient. Okay, so after that, that is done, um, it'll show up just, just like this. Um, it'll say COM41 ready. Everything else will show as disable, um, which is good. That's a really good sign. It makes sure it, it knows everything was good. Now, if you look on your phone, it still has the exact same screen. Let me see if I can get a better look at that. Um, as you can see, it says firmware update still. Sorry about it being dim. I can't do anything about that. Um, so now you can see it says ready, so it's waiting for your device. So go ahead and unplug your phone and plug it back in. Just like that, really quickly, it'll say waiting for connection and it'll get the whole thing started uh, just like before. So just give it a few seconds and I'll get this whole thing started and there we go. Um, as you can see, we're already at 6% on your phone. It shows now COM41. Um, it only takes about five minutes max to uh, completely unroot it and bring it to stock. So that's really good. Um, as you can see now, the arrows are moving, which is a really good sign. That means it's communicating with the LG Flash tool. Um, so I'll be back once this process is done in a few minutes. Okay, so we're at about 85% and um, now you can see the LG logo. I just saw the Android logo just a few seconds ago. Um, so in just a little bit, we should see a little um, number three on here on our phone. So it says mini OS right now. Um, just a few more seconds and we'll be done. Okay, so as you can see on the screen right now, um, it's it looks really weird on the screen. Um, okay, that means it's really good. Um, as you can see, we have pass on here. It t only took 243 seconds, which is Pretty, that's a decent speed, you know, for a whole new OS on your phone. Um, and as you can see on your phone, um, I don't know if you can see that. It looks really weird. It says factory reset, factory reset status three. Now you have to have both of these together. It has to show pass on here, and it has to show factory reset status three. It can't be two. It can't be ten. It can't be five. It has to be three. Once both of these has a blue pass and factory reset status three, then it is safe to unplug it. Just like that. And as you can see, it says ready now, so you're good to go. 
Okay, so with your phone unplugged and you still have this factory reset status three, you can just go ahead and take out the battery and put it back in. Um, it's as simple as that and we'll be done. So we can go ahead and put it back in um, and we can boot up our phone now. So go ahead and hold down the power button and we're done. Um, so I'll go and show you that it actually does boot up. Um, so we have the LG logo right here and we should have my T-Mobile carrier logo in just a quick sec. Um, so look, it looks like it is loading the OS and here's the LG Life's Good logo. And there we go. Here's the T-Mobile logo. I'll give it a few seconds. It'll go ahead and boot up to the setup screen. Now remember, be patient as this boot up could take up to 10 minutes just because you're loading a whole new OS. Be patient, 10 minutes, and it should have you fully booted up. If you're not booted up by then, enter into recovery mode and do a factory reset. Um, I'll have directions down below on how to do that in the FAQ section at the bottom of the article if you're curious. But only do that if you get stuck on the fact stuck on the boot loop, but you really shouldn't. And here we are at the LG setup screen. I can go ahead and keep uh, tapping on next to show you everything is working properly. I'll go into settings to show you the version and all that good stuff for any curious minds out there. We'll click on next, next. We do not want any of this. Still can't go home. And now I should be able to or not. <laughs> And we can go ahead and go into settings. We'll go into general, all the way down to about phone, software information, and there you guys go. You're on Android version 4.4.2 right there, baseband, kernel, build number, all that good stuff is exactly the same, just like the day you first got the LG G3. Now it's safe enough for you to actually go ahead and send this back to your carrier, manufacturer, or if you just wanna be unrooted on 1% stock, this is how you do it, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. The tutorial is pretty straightforward. Written and step-by-step -step directions are down below. Also, with all the files that you need, stock recoveries, USB drivers, LG Flash tool will be all linked down below. If you guys did enjoy this content, be sure to like and subscribe right there as there's going to be more LG G3 videos coming in the very new future. Um, ROM reviews, hopefully uh, more development will start coming out, uh, recoveries, all that good stuff will be here for the LG G3 on this YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, which will be linked down below as well. Until next time, peace.